playing with section 7.1, that's um, chapter 7, we have shapes, quadrilaterals, you should know that the, that the angles inside the quadrilateral or four angles, whether it be a square, a rhombus, parallelogram or trapezium, whatever it is, a kite even, like we've got there, um, we know the total sum of the interior angles is going to be 360 degrees, so whenever you think of four-sided shapes, think of 360 degrees. Anyway, you may recall this shape, this is question 3, page 98, is called a parallelogram. You may recall the opposite angles are exactly the same, so therefore angle A is 42 degrees. Um, coming over to this next one, um, still a parallelogram, if you extend this line, you may, may be able to see that this part will also be 65 degrees because it is corresponding to the angle 65 given in the diagram. Therefore, B and 65 are on a straight line. So I've got um, B plus 65 is 180. So B is going to be 180, take away the 65. So the obtuse angle, uh, angle B is obtuse, is going to be 115 degrees. Very straightforward. Angle C, I told you, the whole thing comes to 360 degrees, all that little lot. So what you do, you take this one and say C equals 360, take away all the other little lot added up. So I go 125 uh, plus the 85 plus the 63 and take away that little lot from 360 to give me angle C. I'm going to do it straight away. So 360, take away, open my bracket. 125 plus 85 plus 63, close my bracket, equals, that's an 87 degree angle, so 87 degrees and that's C done. Over here we have yet another parallelogram, um, again they're playing with an exterior angle, and I think I'll, I'll leave that for you, exterior angle, it's actually outside the shape isn't it? And therefore it makes angle D one of the inside angles, or interior angle. So, as you can see, uh, 114 and D are sitting on a straight line, therefore I've got D is going to be 180, take away the 114. I've already took the liberty of rearranging it for you. So, grab my machine, 180, take away 114, leave me with 66 degrees. Right. So D is 66 degrees, and just like over here, if I extend the line upwards, I can see that this part is also going to be... 66 degrees and here we have yet another straight line so E is going to be 180 take away the 66 we're on a straight line let's just do it now 180 minus 66 that gives us 114 degrees now listen this is really interesting because um, as you can see the 114 exterior angle and the angle E interior angle are alternate to each other's so I'm going to write the word alternate here to learn that again from key stage 3. They're called alternate angles. Alright, so that's that one. So 114 and E are alternate angles, and I've proved that they're the same because 114 and 114 are the same. Um, that's that one. And finally, we've got a beautiful kite here. Um, again, one line of symmetry for a kite. So if that's 90, guess what? So is that 90 as well. And being a kite, which is also a specialist type of quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, we take away this little lot from 360 and we've got angle F. So F is going to be 360, take away uh, a 90, take away another 90, take away the 138, that should give us the leftovers. Let's just pick it up. 360, take away, open my bracket, uh, 180, that's the two 90s, plus 138, close the bracket, so we've got 42 degrees for angle F. Alright, that's a good starter. Let's go to question 5 and then maybe stop for a, a breather, shall we? There it is, question 5. Uh, I'll do this first and then pick up some of the other ones as a second video. Alright, we're still playing with quadrilaterals. Um, they've just thrown it at us here. Um, this is some random four-sided shape, it's obviously a quadrilateral. That's 90 degrees, so let's whack it in. Very simple. A is going to be 360, take away these three angles, take away 71, and the 138, and the 90, and this is what we're left with. So grab my machine, 360, take away, open bracket, 
71 plus 138 plus the 90 close the door press equals 61 degrees unless I've made a mistake but anyway that's the method right after A comes B so the hint is work out this one well we've got a triangle now uh, here we are first time they've introduced a triangle to us that is not a four-sided shape but anyway it's within the context of quadrilateral so don't be scared of it remember what's angle B easy 180 take away these two so B is going to be 180 take away these two together and that's that so 180 take away open bracket 61 add on the 40 close the door that comes to 79 degrees so B is 79 degrees okay I think I'll write it down there as well this one yet another triangle well that's 90 that's the symbol for right angle again 180 degrees C equals 180 take away these two which is going to be 90 plus 64 oh 65 honestly 64 uh, that's going to be 180 take away 54 that's going to be 26 degrees let's just check that quickly 180 take away 154 would give me 26 degrees yeah now what about this horrible little thing it looks terrifying it's not you know look one side two side three side four side it's a quadrilateral now look over here uh, angle D is the next hint because it comes after C so if you look angle D plus 81 all comes to 360 watch my pen 360 360 all right so D is going to be 360 take away this exterior angle for want of a better term of 81 and that will give me I'll tell you in a minute 360 take away 81 we'll leave with 279 well look at it I mean it is definitely a reflex angle it's gone way above 180 it's starting to come back on itself so 279 degrees so how do you find out mystery angle E same thing it's still a four sided shape so I'm going to say E is going to be 360 take away that one that one and that one so I'm going to take away 25 and I'm going to take away 21 let's shrink that arrow get rid of it completely and I want to take away this great big reflex angle um, of 279 and that will be just wait for it 360 take away open bracket um, 25 and 21 and 279 close bracket boom what we got 35 degrees so E is 35 degrees is that alright so that's 35 degrees all right. I'll have a little stop and then we'll um, do a second 7.1 video